Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Botch TV, and I'm here with a tutorial using Voice AI, a digital audio workstation like Audacity and a video editing software of your choosing to make promos for your wrestlers, to give your wrestlers a voice so that you don't have to just have your wrestlers standing there. Now, I made a video in the past that showed you how to make promos using your own voice. This is a way to give other wrestlers a voice so that it gives them a little bit of personality so they're not just standing there and you don't have the text boxes of whatever they're saying. You actually have a voice for them instead. So the programs that I'm using are Voice AI. Audacity and DaVinci Resolve. All these programs are free. However, I should leave a disclaimer that it does cost credits, which you can use real money to purchase said credits. You can also use an option called uh, MetaModel Training, which will, if you turn that on, it gives you 15 credits per minute. And if you leave that on for a few hours, you'll get enough credits to for another voice, or you can pay for a subscription, yearly or monthly, and it gives you one free voice daily and a bunch of other benefits as well. We're going to be using the live mode portion of this software for this. I just want to leave that disclaimer out there just in case people are like, oh, it's not free, it's not free. It's not completely free, but it's free with limitations. I only use it, I only use a few voices for a couple wrestlers. I don't voice everybody, so... For what you need for it, it probably will cost you $20 max or $40, depending on how much you're willing to put into this. Just a disclaimer there. But once you have the software up, it's going to ask you to do what's called voice tuning. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But basically what it is, is it is it's the software getting your voice data, getting an idea of what your voice sounds like so that it knows how much it needs to manipulate your voice to the voice that you have selected. Doing accents and doing any kind of voice acting to help the software will help make your voice sound better through this computer system. It's a computer system after all, so it's not going to be perfect, but it will do the job anyway. So I have Sky Outlaw's voice selected there. That's the voice that I have selected. Uh, and then I have the voice changer turned on. You're going to want to see this here. If this is green, that means that the voice changer is working. You can see your mic right here. You can see right, that, right there as it goes up the little bars there. And the higher you have it, the better it's going to be. But also there's a little bit of delay, like a little bit of a... I guess, lag, if you will. I just call it a delay because it's not really a lag. Uh, between when you record in Audacity and for it to pick it up. And that's because the software is trying to encode your voice in real time. It's doing it in real time. So it's going to take it a bit. Obviously, the more powerful your GPU, the more powerful your computer, the better off you'll be. But just a little bit of a disclaimer there, just so that in case you're wondering why, you know, it's taking a little bit for the, the recording to detect your voice. But you're going to go to Audacity, and you're going to go to Audio Setup, this thing right here. Click on it, go to Recording Device, and you'll see all the recording devices on your computer. You're going to want to click Microphone Array Voice AI Audio. Click that and you're ready to go. You can click record and record something. But I already have something recorded, so I'm just going to import it. So what I did to this was I just recorded uh, a piece of the audio like I would have done. I added reverb to it, and that was pretty much all there is to it. 
Uh, I sometimes like to normalize it in case there's any clipping in the original recording. Uh, obviously, I have my recording volume down to 72. That's the more comfortable level. Obviously, your mic, the type of recording environment, all of that is going to come into play too. So think of it this way. The less you edit it, the better it'll be because as you edit audio, sometimes the audio can get degraded sometimes. And it's, and it's a computer software after all. It's not like your actual voice in coming from the microphone. It's your voice being put into this software, then it's being processed into, into a computerized voice that you have selected. So just to keep in mind there. So I'll just play this for you guys, just so that you guys get an idea of what this sounds like with all the edits that I've done. Hello, YouTube. It's Sky Outlaw. So I've edited a reverb. You can hear a little bit of the echo off of it. Uh, I, I usually like to do that. That's an optional thing. I can quickly go to my settings real quick so that you guys can get an idea of what they are if you guys want my settings. So I have all different types of settings. I have one for Luna. I have one for Sky. So this is the one I have for Sky. This is the one I have for the regular. And this is the one that I have for Luna. Obviously, this is all personal preference. You can make as many edits as you want and then export it as a WAV file. That's exactly what I did. I just imported it. And there you go. You have your promo. Obviously, your promo is going to be way longer than that. But for the sake of time, I just recorded something real quick. Then you're going to want to go to your video editing software. So this is assuming you already have something recorded in in WWE. You're going to want to go into the highlight reel and record just maybe about 10 seconds of your wrestler standing in the middle of the ring or standing wherever you want them to stand for this promo to take place. Then you're going to want to have some background noise because there's no audio in the highlight reel. There's no crowd noise, no nothing. So you're going to want to have something there. So you could just go to YouTube and find a crowd effect and then MP3 convert it. And there you have it. Uh, you'll have it for your promo. So this is the preview that we have here. We have the back symbol and we have the gamer tag in the corner. That's just how it's recorded in the highlight reel. But we're going to want to get rid of that. So we're going to want to click and just drag this here real quick. And there it opens up a video track for us. So we're going to want to click this here and click this transform button. This will pop up this little grid here. And you're going to just want to grab one of these corners. I choose this corner right here. And just zoom right in until you don't see any of that, any of the gamer tag, any of the back symbol there. And then once you're done, you can click off of it. And there you go. There it is. So there's no audio here. You can see that there's a little bit of the highlight reel thing, HUD popping up. So I just like to trim that out. So I just did that there. Trim that out real quick. Just a little quick edit. And then obviously you're going to want to click and drag your audio here. So here's our audio. That's our promo. Or what would be our promo. And then you want to do the same with the crowd noise. Now you're going to want to make sure that the crowd noise does not drown out your promo. So what I like to do is I like to just click that so that it's highlighted orange. Maybe go to negative 35 to negative 38 is usually what I like to do. There we go. It's changed. I don't like to use these faders here. Um, so I just like to do it in the inspector or the mixer tool. 
right up here. And obviously I'm going to zoom out here because I'm going to have this, I'm going to trim this down as well to the desired length. And all of this is personal preference. You want to make it as long as your promo is going to be um, and everything. These are all just very, very simple edits. Not too complicated. And then you can choose to add a transition if you want to. I like to use a fade in, fade out, so it'll do this. Hello, YouTube. It's Sky Outlaw. So it'll do that. And then I like to do that also to the end. And then trim that down to the desired length. And then we'll watch this all the way through now. Hello, YouTube. It's Sky Outlaw. So, obviously this is not a full promo, but these are just a few simple edits that you can do. It's just trimming, getting stuff in the highlight reel. It's very, very simple. Nothing too crazy. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be you coming up with what you want to say for a promo. Now, here's some of the tips that I can give you guys. So, one of the things that I like to mention is... Possibly if the person is involved with a match or if there's a storyline, mention something about that. If there's a certain aspect of your character, personality-wise, that you want to show, find a way to show that. You can do chat GPT and have that help you. Um, you can come up with a script and write a script down of what you want to say to make sure you don't forget what you want to say. There's tons of things that you can do to improve your promo work. I do mine all improvised just because I know my characters. I know what they're going to say. I know their personalities. And it's just easier for me that way. I don't like to be that person that relies on a script. Because I feel like I mess up when I'm trying to just conform to a script. And have a script right in front of me. So I actually do better by not having a script in front of me, by just thinking on my feet and, and letting the words come to me as I'm doing the promo. But I kind of have an idea in my head of who I want, who I want to address, what I want to address, and how I want to end things. And it just all comes into play it's all practice you know it, that's really all i can say about it is it's just all practice and you'll get the hang of it as you go along but hopefully this helped you hopefully this gave you guys an idea of how i do my shows and hopefully this helps you if you want to create your own uh flair to your own show no pun intended obviously um, but if you want to create your own flair to your own show, give your characters more personality rather than just them standing there with a text box uh, that you edited together, this is a way to do it. This is a real fun way to do it. It's it's free. It doesn't really cost you that much money. You're probably going to have to spend maybe $20 to max, and that'll be it. That's pretty much what I've spent. In, in the time that I've used these softwares, other than the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, but there is a free version that I will leave down in the description. All of these softwares will be down in the description below for you guys to download. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will catch you guys on another video.